how Lola was born. The decision that changed my life, um, I own a creperie in Merton Abbey Mills. Um, it's called the Belgian Brasserie and it's my pride and joy. We've been doing jazz nights and private parties and I just loved that side of my business. It was just the best time so I thought that's what I want to be doing. And I, I'm in love with Art Deco so um, I decided to make myself a 1920s nomadic liquor saloon. The special thing about our clientele is that they appreciate the fact that we've put so much effort into making a whole culture, bringing this 1920s to life. The really unique thing about Lola is that she's completely versatile so that you can have a serve-out bar, so you can have a fabulous brass frontage and all your guests can come to you, or you can have her as a lounge and then we put the bar outside or we can have the bar inside people's venues and then we can serve cocktails. We are doing lots of appearances in um, polo kind of grounds and we're doing lots of private parties. We've had some gorgeous weddings. I think she's just lovely. I would live in her. <laughs>